job in the house. It's good to do it outside, but it's a little bit wet. But we'll push some furniture back so we can all do that. Uh, hopefully these will keep your spirit alive and give you an idea of stuff you can do yourself. All right. So first of all, I'm going to warm up. I'm going to work from the top of the body down. Which is always a good way of doing it if you do it yourself. Or work from the bottom of the body up. So it covers most areas. So I'm going to start with the neck to your left. Looking to your right, and you're looking at all of these positions 20 to 30 seconds. No one's be gentle. Okay, head forward, and you can push it forward if you want. Head back, again, you can push it back. And to the side. And to the side. And back again. Back again. So now you can move to the shoulders. So I'm just warm up forward. <laughs> Make sure you, you be careful any obstacles. Forwards and backwards. And I'm just stretching across. Deltoids here. Deltoids there. Okay, now from the shoulders, working the chest. Just open up. Just Open it up. Take it easy. Okay, now let's work the sides. Work our centre a little bit, a bit of twisting. Keep your feet where they are, just twisting. Walk in behind if you can. Okay, I'm gonna lean forward now, just stretching the abs and the lower back. So, this is called flexion. So, what you do is reach in forward if you can, put your calves, just pull forward, just hold it there. And then just push him back. It's called extension. The movement is flexion. Extension. One more time. Flexion. Extension. Okay, towards the hips now. Just want to give a bit of a roll seat. No disco dancing. Okay, now work in the hips. So the up. Work in the hip joint. Nice and slow. Okay, now I'm going to stretch the quads. So a bit of balance required. Are you tall on something? That's fine. Just pulling your leg behind. No way. Again, need to hold on to something. That's fine. Alright. Okay now. Move on to the calves. So that on my right leg, push it out. Alright. Push your toes down and pull it up. Yeah, that's called dorsiflexion. You can feel it pulling in. Try and keep the back foot flat. And so forward. Flat and dorsiflexion there. Again, calf. Okay, bit of a lunge now, working the inner thighs. Turn. And change 
again, again, you want to extend it, do it all the time. Back foot up, push you through. And change, push you through. Now we'll do the inner five here. So push the lead. Turn my feet still forward. Okay, practice keeping your hands up. Control, just rock all the rest of the way. Feel to moderate discomfort is all you're going for. Moderate discomfort. Okay, I'm just shaking your wrist, shaking the ankles. Okay, ready to go. Okay, so put some lights on because we're getting a little bit dark, are we? All we need to look at this time is just get our arms working. Just look at the very, very basic of punching. So here we are in Yoi, what we get this right, the guard out. Here now, just get some, some punches flowing. But make sure you're aiming for your own stomach. And this hand slides along the side of your hips. Just love your hips here as it punches. And just as it makes contact, it flips over. It's got to stay relaxed. This motion is all relaxed until it locks on. Until it locks on. Work the arms together, get the arms working together. Now add the breath. It's a bit of a cardio workout if you get it right. As you get more comfortable and more proficient in the technique, go a bit quicker. Lock it. Lock it, lock it. As you get more of them, start to bring your hips into play. See how the hips goes first. From the side. Give that a good practice. Good, good practice. Here. Get what's that punch right. Once you get that punch right, everything else flows. When you get proficient with that, comfortable with having, having a few goals at that, start moving the punch towards the chin level, which is Joe then. But all done this, this is beginner to, to more senior. But once you get this right, everything else flows. Same thing, it's just a different time now. Same things apply. Twist the hips, pull the arms, get them working together. A bit of an exercise now. Way to practice your punches. All different levels. Stomach, stomach, face, face, stomach, stomach, face, face, stomach, stomach, face, face, stomach, stomach, face, face, stomach, stomach, face, face. Practice. The feet almost level with the leg. So it's got to the shoulder, pushes down, pushes down. Stay relaxed until you lock it. Stay relaxed until you lock it. Challenge for you is to do 100 of these. When you've done 100 of these, get them by down the blocks, again start to pull and breathe, lock it, relax, lock, relax, lock, relax, lock, alright? Get yourself to 100, then we'll move on to the next block, or you can move on to the next block, which is chewing up shucky, stomach block. So here we go. Again, start with the guard. This one here, block the punch to this mid area. 
hand goes across and box up. This shoulder, let's be level the hand. Swap. 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 Swap again, stay relaxed. Until you lock it. Width here as well, much. Fist, fist width here, away from body. That is like that is lazy. That's a lazy man's spot. Get it there. Okay? Get a hundred done. Your own time. Not many is it? When you've done the hundred, you move on to the next one. Okay, now you've done your hundred. Do the head block. Join the jockey. Again, it swaps over, comes underneath, box up. Box the technique, knocks it out of the way. So twist at the end. Box. 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 Again. Breathe. Relax. Lock. 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 Again, get yourself to 100. Ideally, if you can, try it in front of a mirror or anywhere that's got a reflection so you can see where these stance maintains. Where you lean forward, backwards, where your block ends up. I get to 100 of that and we'll put all six together. And the six together goes like this. It's a way of practicing all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you get more proficient at it, you can go quicker. And all that trains your brain to react. I'll leave that with you a minute or two. In my case, my hand's open, there, that doesn't matter, it just works for me. When it closes, that's fine. I just find it flows better. Again, get some practice, get it in there. Again, I'm breathing. I am looking, I'm looking at the corner of my eyes, just naturally my eyes are going that way, but I can see the target. That's position two. Position three, some to the side, aiming here now. Push out, push out. So you have the arms working together, so strike. Come to the side of you, strike. 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 On the other side, strike. 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 Okay, get some done, give it a go. Another strike with the elbow, again, hitting with that part, or striking with that part, as if somebody's behind me. So, strike. Strike. It is in pain on the stand down. The strike towards the end. So from this position, someone's behind me, strike. Strike. What's more importantly, as I pull it back, I twist his hand. The whole arm rotates at the joint. Strike. Lock. So again, my hands are open. That works for me. Strike. 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 Alright, so so far I've done one, two, three, four. Another one you've got is you've managed to get an opponent down, strike over the top. You managed to strike some, pull them down, down with a form like pull it, pull it, chain on the train. Yeah, old fashioned steam train. On the back, on the cervical spine. Both sides. Doesn't matter which legs forward, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can lean down on this one because you've got to visualise your point. Alright, get a few of them practice. And we'll put 
putting all my elbow strikes together, uh, it's called MP Kata. So it's a kata, but, but a small version of a kata. I'll break it down very slowly. Again, I do it by numbers, that works for me. First one, stepping out, long stance. But at the same time as we're practicing elbow strikes here, you'll notice we get a chance to, to double up and practice a few stances. The first one, step out, long, long stance, strike. There. This leg goes back, this arm's doing the striking, and draw into cat stance. Now, I'm helping this, making it stronger. There. I'm now in a cat stance. Front foot up, 90% of the weight on the back leg. Right leg now moves up and moves to a horse stance, but the arm goes across from strike to side. Yeah, now in a horse stance. Weight distribution should be even. Looking up, I'm going to strike under now, come back up into a yo stance, under the chin. Yeah, and finally, a longer stance going that way, longer forward stance, I'm going to step and strike down to the back. This area. So again, nice and slowly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Alright, I'll do it from the side. One. So slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Back to you. Go a bit further. Walk in. And pick up. Just a bit of that. Now I'm going to finish off. What I call a finisher. I'm going to show it you once. I want you to do it three times, the whole thing. So it's three minutes. But you can give yourselves 30 seconds rest between each circuit. Alright, I've got a stopwatch here, just so I know where I'm at. In each one, it's 15 seconds. So there's four exercises for 15 seconds. That's one minute. 30 seconds rest, but do the exercises of the circuit three times. Here we go. First one, I'm going to bring in one fifteen seconds, and it needs a hand. Okay, in fifteen seconds, jump in squats. Okay, in fifteen seconds, keep nine the clock. Not many. Okay, this time, third piece, 50 seconds. On hands and clap. And finally, last one, shoulder tapping. Excellent. One minute gone. Three circuits. Send us your videos. See you later.